I won't have to worry, Judy. I won't have to worry.
turn that microphone at the end about Chris. Flip the button over. darkness in the middle of the night i'm praying for assurance everything's gonna be all right now lord i see another battle that's out in front of me and i'm afraid that i won't be able and i'll go down in defeat
probably two to three weeks ago on a Sunday night, I believe it was, uh, Brother David Green was here preaching. Y'all remember Brother David preaching? You remember him telling about his boy being in a real car, bad uh, car accident, and uh, they just completely give him up. He said that he went to the chapel to pray, and he said that he came out of the chapel because he knew, well, he said about running up the steps. Uh, because the Lord had given him the, 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 com the confirmation that God was going to touch his boy. Y'all remember that? Well, his boy's here tonight. And I'd like for him to stand. He's a minister of the gospel of Jesus. Testify, Jeffrey. That's, that's a miracle right there. That's what your eyes will behold.
You don't have to worry. Don't you be afraid. For joy comes in the morning. And troubles don't last always. There's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. With Jesus, I can take it. With him, I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. So if your tests and trials seem to get you down, and all your friends and loved ones are nowhere to be found, remember there's a friend who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. With Jesus, I can take it. With him I know I can stand, no matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands.
Such a holy time. I've been 
That cost a lot, it paid our way, dared its price, and when it flew down from the cross, my sins were gone, my sins were gone. tried to hide this precious blood that gave me life. But in three days it breathed again and rose to stay. Yeah. 
seed of Abraham. And he said, this body you have, I have entered into God. Literally walking into the fleshly body. It wasn't just man walking on the Galilee shore. It was God walking on the Galilee shore. And the daddy, the pilot's all, came back and they beat his back. And they stripped him down. And they took a rod. And they hit him on the back. The palms of their hand. And they smacked that body. That body, he said, that was broken for you. He said, without that, there'll be no new testament. He did it all for us. He did it all for us. Now he puts through together. And then the preacher's going to come and preach. And if you're here tonight and you're not saved, we want you to get an invitation to come. Now I know Brother Jacob will do that as well. Amen. Listen to what he said. I have received of the Lord, which also I deliver unto you. The Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had said, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your body. And after the same manner also, he took the cup. He took the cup. And when he had sucked it, he said, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death. I hope that when we put our head up like that, that he comes. I hope when we put our head up like that, that he sees me. And I want you to know that hanging up out of the bride is still showing his head off. Yeah, we're showing his death. We're showing his death. Amen. And he gave thanks and he took it and he sat there and he died. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, we receive it. It's earth. you have your Bibles, turn to Ezekiel chapter 37. Amen. Amen. I, had a, I have a message for the church, but it's also for the lost. I know if you're lost, you felt condemned over that because the same spirit that gives us joy and happiness and peace is the same spirit that condemns a sinner. So when we feel something holy, they feel something stirring. And uh, I would like to start, amen, in verse 1 of Ezekiel chapter 37. Amen. The Bible says, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. And this is Ezekiel talking about a, a vision or a, a experience that the Lord has given him. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. Yeah. 
And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and, they, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, bear, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Go unto the bones, be, God, thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will lay, and I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and, oh, and cover you with skin, and put, and, put, and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. And so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise. And there was a noise, behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone, is, bone to his bone. And when, he, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said, then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say unto the wind, this, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O, bre o breath, and breathe, uh, and, breathe upon these, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as as he come as he commanded me, and the breath came unto them, and they lived and stood and stood up unto their feet as an exceeding great army. And that's all I'd like to read. And if the Lord helped me with my breath, I ain't been able to breathe very well since I had the virus back at the beginning of the year. <laughs> Amen. But if the Lord would help me, I'd like to preach on the renewing of a dead soldier, the revival of a dead soldier. And if the Lord would help me, I want to preach on the dry bones of the valley. And I got to thank him when the Lord came unto, unto Ezekiel and took him down into the valley of the dry bones in a vision or whatever it may have been. Amen. He's seen that it was an army that had been that had been fighting, no doubt, for years and and they were a mighty army is what the Bible said. And they came down and Ezekiel saw them. And every army has a chance to fall. Amen. The best sports team, the best the best uh, racer, the best runner. Amen. Always there's somebody better. And this army found that person. Amen. That army that was better than them, they found something. Amen. That took them down. But I got to thinking, amen, when he went up to him, he said, he said, can these bones live again? And he said, thou sayest. And he said, prophesy to the bones that they would be live again. And I got to thinking he was talking about, amen, when he, when he went up to the bones, amen, he said the skin started to grow back on him. And he said bone to bone, amen, and it's talking about the sinews, amen, that's what connects your muscle, amen, to your bone. I looked that up today, amen, and I got to thinking about when he was re when he was talking to Ezekiel and he was talking, amen, about, about, the, about getting these uh, soldiers in the bones of the valley, amen, breathing life back into them. Amen. And my message more or less is to the church, but amen, lost person. Amen. This Bible is so deep that I can preach to the church and convict the lost at the same time. Amen. And I got to thinking about Lazarus. Amen. When Jesus was going on his journey and, and, they, and Mary and Martha seen him coming and they said, you're four days late. He's done dead. Amen. He stinketh by now, but no, no, no. Amen. Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. Amen. And the stone rolled away. Amen. And he came out running. And, amen. And I got to thinking about, amen, about Lazarus. Amen. He lost his life. Amen. And he didn't gain anything but death. Amen. But us as a body of Christ, amen, we've lost our life. We became as dry bones in the valley. Amen. But we can regain what the Lord and what the Lord has given us. We can regain what the battle has taken from us. Amen. And I got to thinking. Amen. It said about the it said about the four winds came and breathed breath into their nostrils. Amen. The wind is a very strong thing in the Bible throughout the Bible. Amen. The wind's used for good and the wind's used for bad. Amen. But I read, amen, if this is okay. Amen. Jason taught on it. Brandon's taught about holiness. Amen. You've shown that you're ready. Amen. To receive what the Lord's given you by the by the, the statement you've made by taking communion. Amen. Amen. In Acts 2, verse 2, it says, it can, The Spirit fell upon them as a rushing mighty wind. 
Amen. There's a rushing mighty wind. Everybody knows Acts 2, the upper room, the experience of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I know this is the revival. I don't know who you are, where you're at, but there's some people in here who have desired and who have fasted and prayed and asked the Lord to give them that experience. And I, you can get it tonight. Amen. You can get it right here, right here. I don't know what day it is. It's Sunday and Sunday in February, but you can get it right here. Amen. Because that same wind that breathed life into the bones of the dry valley is the same wind that came to them in the upper room. Amen. The same wind that raised the, the same man that came and the same man that went. Amen. And, 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 and back then, amen, there was no Jesus what had and walked on the earth. And back then, it was just God. They laid up sacrifices. Amen. He had prophets and preachers. And, and I got to thinking when he was talking about, and he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of God, son of man. And say unto the wind, thou saith, the Lord God, come from the four winds. O breathe in the breath of O breath and the breathe upon these slain that they may live. Yeah. Amen. But here's the thing. They were already alive at one point in time because they were dead. You can't be dead without living. Amen. So these bones in the valley had lost something. They lost a battle. Amen. And I think it's ironic that it's in a valley because that's where most of the time the devil gets us is in the valley. Amen. And I got to thinking about the people that have let down their standard. They've let down the, 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 the things that they've done for the Lord. They've let down the things that have got them to where they were at. And they've got killed. And they've been a dead corpse in the bone, in the dry valley of the, of the bones. And, and they've been dead for a very long time. Amen. But right now, God has sent an Ezekiel, not me, but the Holy Spirit. Amen. He sent him by. Amen. Because after Acts, amen, that's after Jesus had died. Amen. And God said, I will go, but I will send you a comforter. Amen. And that comforter is the Holy Ghost. Amen. And he will come and abide in you on May the 24th of 2020. He baptized me with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And he filled me with the upper room experience. And you can have it tonight if you come down and you're earnest and you ask for it and you ask the Lord to give it to you. Amen. And I got to thinking about the time about how your relationship with God is two-sided. But here's the thing. I'm in a relationship. Brandon's married. Jason's married. My dad's married. There's always two sides to every story. Actually, three sides. My bad. There's Jason's side. There's Christy's side. And there's the truth. Because there's always something that will persuade you to go with your own instinct. But I got to thinking about how we blame God when he never changes, Jason. He don't change. We're the ones who change. The reason that we've lost what we had, the reason that we never got it, is because we've changed and we've let down on the things that we should have held higher. Instead, we let them go lower and lower and lower, and we became as the dry bones in the valley. Amen. I got to thinking, amen, about the people that he raised from the dead. Amen. Just very quickly. Amen. He raised the dead man that was being carried out of the city in Luke chapter 7. Amen. His mother was crying and she was a widow. Amen. He raised him up. He said he sat up and spake. And he, he said he went on his way and he put him back with his mother. Amen. He raised him from the dead. But he was already dead and being carried out. Amen. By the men. Amen. He raised the, he raised the girl in Luke chapter 8. Amen. He raised her from the dead. He said they said he laughed at him. They laughed at him and they said, who is this man? Who is this? He can't raise her from the dead. She's already dead. But he held her hand and he, and he told her to get up and she, and she was raised from the dead. And they were all astonished. Amen. Who wants to be raised from the dead tonight? Amen. Do you want to be a live church that's on fire for God to where people will come for miles and miles, amen, to get an experience, amen, because they say, hey, I heard down there at Antioch House of Prayer on North Fork River Road, amen, that he got filled with the Holy Ghost, and she got filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, it's real, amen, it's in your Bible, if you don't believe it, amen, you can read it, amen, but he sent the comforter, amen, and he can do mighty things in your life if you just let him. Amen. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on me preaching. My altar call is what I want to get to. I don't want no singing. I want whoever, amen, has desired something from the Lord, whether you want to shout, whether you want to be baptized with the Holy Ghost, you want to dance in the Spirit, whatever you want to do, it's all real. Amen. If it wasn't real, I wouldn't be up here preaching it. It's a scary thing to get behind this pulpit, Jason, and preach a lie. And I'm not preaching a lie. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen the real thing, and I've seen the fake thing. And you'll be able to determine pretty quick which one it is. 
Amen. But if you're sincere and you really want to be baptized with the Holy Ghost or you want to shout or you want to run the aisles or you want to just be a prayer warrior, whatever you want to do, would you please come right now? Whoever it may be, come on. Come on. And all you who have had that, would you please come pray with them? Please. Would you come pray with them? Madison and, and Christina, would y'all care to play a song if y'all don't care? I said no music, but I think music helps you to pray through. Amen. If you, would, if, you would, if you would come pray and you would desire what the Lord has for you, oh, he'll do mighty things in the, in, in the revival that's about to continue. <laughs> Amen. Hannah got it. Amen. Madison got it. Amen. All these people are getting it. Amen. You can have it right now. Right now. Amen. If you just ask. Amen. He'll fill you with the Holy Spirit. He'll give you things that you never thought you could do. He'll give you things that you never thought you could have. Amen. But by your testimony and taking this communion, amen, you've told me, amen, and you've told the church that you're ready for whatever the Lord would have for you. Amen. Now it's your part. You say, I'm shy, I'm backwards, I'm scared, I'm too young, I don't know what she's going to think about me, he's going to think about me. That's exactly why you're sitting there, and that word is pride. But these people up here have sought and sought and asked the Lord to do a mighty work in their life. And you can have it too if you come down here and you ask the Lord what he would have you to do. Amen. I'm going to pray too. Amen. She's going to play. They're going to pray as long as they need to. That's what's missing in our churches mostly today is the long altar services. We give an altar call and we sit down and we say, if you're asking for it, come get it. But we don't give them time to receive it. Amen. I'm going to pray with these brothers. Amen. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. Amen. But if you want it, just come and get it.
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 